All right, y'all, this is gonna be uh, brazen with nitrogen part two. Um, actually gonna use the oxyacetylene on this one. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I bought that flow meter and I wanted to make sure that I don't have any oxidation, any contaminants in my line. However, when I did the last video, I was running at about approximately 10, maybe 12. I want to uh, actually see how low I can go uh, with that flow meter uh, to conserve nitrogen. That was another specific reason I bought that. I didn't want to, you know, blow through nitrogen like son of a gun. So let me get after this. Let's make a coupling. You know, let's make a free coupling here. So I reckon we just saved like uh, 75 cents. So, all right, let me get after it. Okay, y'all, this is going to be without nitrogen. Boy, this ox oxyacetylene man take it is so fast. It's unbelievable. Kill me, I'd use one of the dish towels. Okay, let's see what kind of flake we get in this one, guys. This is with the oxyacetate. We'll try to do a CDB 1636's test. CDB 1636's channel. He's like the original video on there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Pure funk, guys. I definitely don't want that in my system. Okay, y'all, let's uh, let's uh, try the trickle with about five five uh, cubic feet. All right. Okay, y'all, let's make us another free coupling, another free three quarter coupling here. This is going to be brazen with nitrogen. <clears throat> Yeah, CDB1636 are also giving another great tip here, man. 
Um, all right, open your gauge. Do not run this over 50. I'm gonna bring her up to 25. Maybe a hair over 25, right there. All right, y'all. Now, see that uh, ball bearing down in there, that uh, little ball? I'm gonna try to run her. I did have a run in at 10 last time. And the reason we bought this thing, remember now, is because we wanted to prevent scale. However, I bought this piece of equipment here because I don't want to run through nitrogen like wildfire. So last time we were running approximately about right there, about 10, maybe 12. This time, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to go below that 5. I'm going to be like right at 2. See, you can barely see that ball seat. And see it coming up and down, up and down. I'm going to come right up about, I'd have to say it's probably about 2. And you can actually hear her running. So it doesn't look like our ball's up, our ball bearing, or whatever it is up, but it is. You can hear it, okay? Well, I'm gonna have to lay this brace to it quick. We got a we got a thunderstorm moving in. The alarms are going off in the house, and I don't want to get all my good tools here soaking. So let's get after it. Let's get it back on the tripod and get it welded. Lay a puddle to it. Like I said, we're about two guys, and I'm really putting the flame on this turkey. Got that really hot flame with the oxyase here. Put some more brazen rod on it. Let's throw it to it. See what we get. All right, y'all. Some of this Kentucky branch on it. Yeah, boy. I'd say she's cooled off now. We all think. Of course, my cutters are over here. Like I said, we were only bleeding about two pounds through air, or two cubic feet, or whatever you want to call it. I really laid the toast to it, guys. You know, you can see it. Let's get this cut off where the storm gets here.
Oh yeah. Looky there. Looky there. Hell, I laid that brace to it for about a good two, three minutes. Is that not something, guys? Now, you can either have this in your system with that kind of pipe there, or you can have that in your system. Unfreaking believable. Alright guys, now like I said, you know, we were only trickling two there, you can't even hardly see that ball, you see her, so you can still see she's pumping, listen, hear it, let's see if we can see that ball drop, alright, went the wrong way, but anyway, you all get the drift, um, alright guys, I gotta get back in the house, get all my tools put up, uh, appreciate you watching, like I said, this is uh, brazen with nitrogen too. Uh, I'm kind of hard headed sometimes. I have to prove things to myself. But uh, appreciate y'all watching. And uh, now y'all know the real deal. It's up to you. Take care. Bye.